Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your April 2018 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising Signs. So Sag, for this reading I'm using the Thelema Tarot deck along with the Oracle of the Unicorns and then also the Romance Angel Oracle cards. Sag so at the bottom of the deck okay I do have the king of wands very nice so this is what I'm using as the overall energy so it doesn't matter if you're male or female uh, you're coming up very much in your element which is really good very fiery maybe very feisty here in the month of April uh, I view the king of wands as you know he's he's a go-getter he's a manifester he's someone who makes things happen so um, you know, some of you definitely could be very creative, very passionate. Uh, you know, you possibly could be manifesting here in the month of, of April. Right at the center, we do have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords crossed by the Two of Cups. And you actually have, let's see, you have several twos here in this spread. One, two, three. You have three twos here in this spread. And then you also have, um, let's see, you have a couple union cards for me. So definitely a relationship could be significant for many of you. Uh, a love relationship, a business partnership, a family relationship for some of you. Uh, the Ace of Swords can represent several different things. This could be very significant communication uh, that's, that's happening either right at the start of April uh, or maybe even when I'm filming this right at the end of March uh, for some of you. This is energy that's with you right now. Uh, it could be, you know, blunt, straight to the point, very, very crystal clear communication that's significant for some of you. And it definitely is with maybe a partner, a friend, uh, a spouse. There's a relationship that's significant here with the Two of Cups. The Ace of Swords is truth, logic, communication. It's also a card of victory, um, but it's victory after dealing with some challenges. And it also can represent making a cut with that King of Wands energy, which is that very, in my eyes, that very powerful, feisty, fiery energy. You know, he's someone who will make things happen. He's very passionate. So... Uh, and also very ambitious. So I think that some of you definitely might be speaking your mind with another person. There could even be a few of you watching that maybe you are making a cut. You could be with this Ace of Swords, you know, it cuts both ways. You could be making a very significant cut ending a relationship. Um, but if that's the case for those of you that are maybe ending a relationship, it could be because you're maybe getting into a new relationship. It could be something like that. For other Sages, maybe you're just speaking your truth. Maybe there's something that you're finding out here and it's in regards to a relationship or a partnership of some kind. For those of you that, you know, you're maybe finding something out here or you and your partner are finding something out here. If it's not in regards to the relationship, it could be in regards to maybe a family matter, a property matter with the Ten of Pentacles here at your foundation. The Ten of Pentacles can represent, you know, an inheritance, assets, property matters, things like that. Uh, it could be business related matters for some of you, family matters for others. So, you know, if you're not breaking up, but you, you know, maybe you and your partner are finding something out or even signing something here, it could be that you're purchasing a home or it's something to do with the family uh, for, for some of you. And then we do have the, the magician in the recent past. So great energy to work with. Um, you know, I see the magician as an empowered energy. So some of you definitely maybe started something new. Uh, you could have been incredibly creative, very resourceful here in the recent past. You know, the magician has, 
you know, all the tricks up his sleeve. He has all the tools, you know, everything he needs to be successful when it comes to starting something new, manifesting something new in his life. So it could be some of you um, working with another person, some of you definitely in the process of starting something new, uh, or you and your significant other or your business partner starting something new uh, and I do see the magician as an empowered energy so this is you know you know it's great energy um, that some of you have been dealing with and then you know you're still dealing with it here in in April so great energy to work with as far as getting things done and and manifesting and then crowning you I do have the three of cups so three of cups crowning you which is really good because I see that the three of cups is like a nice lighter emotional energy so you know some of you are in a good place you're in a good place emotionally definitely it's a very social energy as well and it can even come up when some of you are celebrating something so there could be a few of you that right at the start of the month here you're maybe celebrating what it is that you you're manifesting uh, what it is that you're working on. For some of you, you're just celebrating. Um, the Three of Cups can also speak about reunions. So there definitely could be some Sages that maybe you're getting together with someone here. Definitely um, catching up with someone. If you're in a relationship, you and your significant other could be celebrating something. Or maybe you're going to be getting out more here right at the, the start of the month. Coming up around the second week in the near future, we do have the Ten of Cups. So we have a couple of tens here. So tens uh, indicate a cycle that's completing. The Ten of Cups is emotional abundance. So, and it is also another union card for me. So some of you emotionally are in a really, really good place. So no matter if you made a cut to a relationship, or not you know I just see you in a good place some of you emotionally are in a good place I think that maybe there are some sages that you and your partner could have purchased a home or you're celebrating something wonderful here and around the second week you know maybe you're spending more time with them you're growing closer uh, you're just in a really good place emotionally and then coming up here in the position of your power and this can be energy around the second third week I do have temperance which temperance does represent your sign Sag but temperance also represents balance so I think that you know some of you definitely emotionally uh, are feeling very stable very balanced here at this time it's also a healing energy so you know if there was like a relationship matter some of you could be healing that relationship. It's a very spiritual card for me as well. Spiritual, it's a healing energy. So um, I think that some of you definitely are being uh, spiritually guided here. Uh, you and your partner may be being spiritually guided in a particular direction. So again, some of you maybe just moved in with your partner. There could be other Sages maybe starting a family. Uh, and maybe it's a process because with temperance, it can represent something happening gradually. Temperance represents patience and moderation. So, you know, this could be something that's taking place throughout the entire month. It might not be happening overnight. Um, but definitely very much being spiritually guided here and in the position of how those around you are viewing you I do have the eight of wands which is forward movement travel it's the energy looking up things shifting things starting to happen so I think that some of you feel maybe more stable more balanced here emotionally in a good place there could have been some healing that has taken place and and if you were a Sag that has been waiting on something to move forward, you know, it could be happening here at the third week. There could be more happening at this time with the Eight of Wands. There could be messages coming in, messages going out, lots of messages could be significant here at this time. But this is forward movement and it's a very positive energy. And then in the hopes and fears, I do have the Two of Pentacles, which does speak about balance. So I think that some of you very much want to feel more, more balanced, more stable, um, definitely. Maybe things have been up in the air or, or something like that previously. Um, the Two of Pentacles 
can also represent a decision. And because you have so many twos here in the spread, Sag, there could be some Sages that maybe you're waiting on a decision or you and your partner were waiting on a decision. Some of you maybe financially are fearing, maybe juggling your finances. That could be a possibility. Um, and this, if this is like an emotional thing for you, because some of you, I see you now here in April, emotionally feeling very stable, very balanced. Maybe previously you weren't feeling so emotionally um, stable or balanced. Because for me, with the Two of Pentacles, it can be an energy where... You know, emotionally you're experiencing highs and lows, but this is in the fear position. So for some of you, it's just a fear. And maybe that's something you were experiencing previously. Uh, energy that you're actually leaving the month of April with and going into May, we have the two of swords. So lots of twos here, Sag. Two of swords, interesting. Uh, again, decision could be significant. Um, but two of swords energy for me can be someone who... You might be at a crossroads. Some of you maybe uh, are, are, are trying to make a decision. But for me, the Two of Swords can be a card sometimes. Sometimes it's a card of non-action, not making a decision, putting something off, not moving forward, uh, not knowing what to do. Um, so it's a very interesting energy, and I actually want to clarify it right now. So we will take a look at this Two of Swords for Sag clarifying the two of swords for Sagittarius energy that you're leaving the month of April with Sagittarius let's take a look at this two of swords Sagittarius two of swords Clarifying the Two of Swords energy that Sag is leaving the month of April with. Very, very interesting. Okay, very interesting. Let's take a look at Temperance. Let's take a look at Temperance, which is in the position of your power, Sag. temperance for Sag for the month of April. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay, so first let's take a look at temperance. Like I mentioned, some of you are in a really good place emotionally. So you know, something could have happened previously, maybe with a partnership or something could have maybe been going on that you and your partner were dealing with together. But here in April, emotionally, you're in a good place. Um, things are balancing out. Things are stabilizing. And, you know, what's interesting, it, clarifying temperance, we have death, the two of cups, and then the high priestess. So it's possible that maybe... The sign of Scorpio is significant or water sign energy is significant here. So if not Scorpio, maybe Cancer or Pisces. But again, another two, two of cups, relationship matters, partnerships that are significant here. Death can represent endings and, you know, with every ending, it creates that space for a new beginning. But it also represents something changing, something will never be the same. So it doesn't automatically mean that a relationship is ending. For some of you, it can be. But maybe, you know, to be honest, this might be some of you like contemplating that, you know. Um, but you're not, you're not sad over it. Again, emotionally in a good place. High priestess energy. Trusting your instincts. Listening to your intuition. She's, you know, someone who's very quiet, mysterious. Some of you could be contemplating something and keeping it to yourself or really, really listening to your intuition with, you know, any sort of decisions that you have to make. And it might be in regards to your relationship. It doesn't mean ending a relationship, but it's something involving your relationship. Very significant. Maybe, you know, it could even be in regards to like moving in together, moving house, something like that here. 
and then clarifying this two of swords I do have the three of cups the queen of rods and then the page of pentacles so now we have the three of cups again uh, queen of rods fire sign energy uh, page of pentacles news communication and opportunity two of swords some of you might have to make a decision here there's an opportunity there's news there's an offer that's coming in you need to make a decision um, and it could be in regards to a, a, again a relationship a friendship maybe some of you have someone who wants to come back into your life because the three of cups can speak about reunions very interesting but let's pull you some additional guidance cards what else does Sag need to know for the month of April? Okay, I'm actually going to take this one. That's the only card that landed. Wow. Upright Sag. And then I'm going to pull you a Romance Angel Oracle card. But as always, if you want additional guidance as, as far as relationship matters, uh, definitely check me out over on Vimeo. I do have the Love Tarot forecast for the month of April posted on Vimeo. And that link is below. Focusing on love and relationship matters for Sagittarius for the month of April. What else do they need to know? Sagittarius. What else does Sagittarius need to know for the month of April? Sagittarius. Sun, moon, and rising signs. All right. Interesting. Okay. So we actually have leadership. Step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. So some of you may be within some sort of partnership or relationship. You might be taking on the leadership role, definitely for some of you. Some of you are taking charge. You could be speaking your truth. You could be making a cut, making some changes here, definitely. And it's around a relationship matter, a partnership of some kind for many of you. Step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. And then focusing on love and relationship matters, we actually have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So for those of you within a relationship, keep an open mind. Maybe your partner wants to try something new. We know that many of you are going through this change. Keep an open mind for those of you that aren't breaking up. Keep an open mind here in April when it comes to you know, any sort of changes or any sort of uh, relationship matters. Keep an open mind for those of you that are meeting someone or maybe someone even wants to reunite with you possibly needing to keep an open mind when it comes to that if you are meeting someone new here in april sag they might be very different uh, from maybe your usual type you know people that you normally would date this person might be very different but it still could be you know a really good match Okay, Sag, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel here on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttower.com. I wish you all a wonderful month. Take care.